Submarines have been surrendering all over the place in fairly satisfactory number. 1945, and the war was over. The U boats that were once the scourge of the oceans were now tourist attractions for jubilant Londoners. Now they would have had the chance of seeing one of the ships that went to make up that peril. Never again must the Huns be in a position to threaten civilization with this or any other weapon. But the ultimate fate of the U boats lay not on the River Thames, but across the Irish Sea. This is what remains of a wharf built by the Americans at Lissahalley in the port of Londonderry in Northern Ireland. In 1945, people passing here would have seen an extraordinary sight. Scores of U-boats tied up alongside this jetty. Derry had been a vital port during the Battle of the Atlantic and the formal surrender of the U-boat fleet had taken place here. Commander Peter Campbell was a midshipman based in the city at the end of the war. And what was it like to see these U-boats? They looked menacing, but rusty, old, never did maintain them since they surrendered. And they still retained an awful lot of the threat that one had been only too conscious of during the war. An operation codenamed Deadlight would remove the U-boat threat forever and put 116 subs at the bottom of the Atlantic. The military rationale was sound. But for some, it was a symbolic act of revenge. Right to the death, though, the U-boats wouldn't go down easily. They took an awful lot of sinking, and the RAF bombs bounced off them, and the mortars which were used weren't entirely successful. You need them down below to get the full benefit. And firing at them on the surface was actually jolly difficult. The evidence took quite a bit of sinking, even a sitting bird. All the more honour to the men who sank so many throughout the war. For divers interested in World War II wrecks, the U-boat graveyard off this coast is a great attraction. But what sort of condition are the submarines in? And do they still seem in any way menacing? I'm going to find out. We're sending a dive team down to investigate a wreck. And there'll be live pictures to the surface. And I'm taking with me a brave veteran with vivid memories of the Battle of the Atlantic. Tom Fisher served on hunter-killer ships during the war. His job was to destroy U-boats. So what did it feel like to have sunk a U-boat? The news was coming in that there had been machine, the survivors were being machine gunned in the water. And that really got the blood up, you know. They were protecting their own side and uh, they wouldn't care any more of our boys. And that's how you look for it. What do you feel about going out now to have a look at a U-boat? I would be happy to see a U-boat that have been put out of action. We're targeting U-861, a sub that sank four ships and cost 116 lives. She now lies at a depth of 43 metres off the Irish coast. Some of the subs are accessible by divers, but they'll remain on the seabed unless the wartime powers all agree to raise them. That's not likely. But some parts are recovered because their metal is pre-nuclear, uncontaminated by fallout, and is used in delicate scientific instruments. These live pictures are a great sight for a wartime hero like Tom. It looks sort of white, it's encrusted, isn't it? Yeah, so you're not seeing the, the metal of the leg anymore. The, uh, the, the steel is completely covered in uh, soft coral sponges. It's actually turned it into an artificial reef. Right. The deadlight bombs broke U-861 into three pieces, and its distinctive conning tower has now lost its menace, lying on its side on the seabed. What do you think, Kate? Very good to see them on the bottom of the sea. Yeah, that's where you want them. That's it. Keep it down there. Keep them down there. <laughs> it had been a real privilege to have seen all this with one of the brave men who battled against the U-boat menace. There are campaigns to salvage some of these sunken subs and turn them into museum pieces. But perhaps it's understandable that veterans like Tom Fisher prefer that they remain at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean.